So I was looking at some of my videos and one thing occurred to me. A lot of what I say sounds the same and I say it in quite the variation of different forms. The reason why is because I've really employed without knowing it or without at least being verbal about it lately, the power of routine. So what is the power of routine and what does it look like for me? What does it look like for you? And what are the benefits of it? Let's jump in. Ah, uh, yeah, what's up everyone? Welcome to Filmspiration. My name is writer, director, Red Rivera, and this is The Process. Let's jump in and uh, talk about the fact that I was looking at some of my videos the other day, and honestly, I want to be the first one to admit, you know, for, for all of you who do take the time, and for all you new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate you being here. But one thing you're going to notice is that a lot of my content sounds the same, and there's some reasons behind that. Let's say I tell you from a very young age, you know what, you need to brush your teeth every night before you go to bed, or you need to brush your teeth every day when you wake up. You need to take a shower, you need to make sure to floss. All the good things in life that you need to do or that you should be doing, they're probably there and they've probably been told to you throughout time because they are good things for you. So I find myself a lot of times um, repeating to you all, but more for myself, really good information that I need to frankly remind myself of in a lot of ways. So in a lot of ways, these videos um, in a good type of a selfish are that they're selfish in that they're reminders for me too of the things that I constantly need to always hear and tell myself. It's just that, you know, here in this case, I, I happen to be recording them. So, you know, it's things like my common message of run out there, do your thing, tell your stories, etc. Um, you know, finding a way or taking a look at the resources around you. There are certain things that, you know, do, first off, do I know everything in filmmaking? No, I don't. I don't know every aspect or every facet. I've always worked from the grassroots, fruits, the grassroots from the uh, super uh, indie level. So that's what I will speak to. That's what I always speak to. I'll never try to bullshit you guys and, you know, like I'm, you know, from some other level or Hollywood or that's, so I'll always speak to that. And so what I can say is that everything that I preach is stuff that I myself also need to practice, which is why I also kind of wanted to just put it out there to see if you could take anything away from. But in that preaching, there are some things that just kind of are always there. They're constants. Like for example, in my case, I'm a person that chooses to you know, my, my routine is the following. I go to work, I'm working on getting my feature film together that a lot of great hard, hard working people worked on. That's what I meant to say before I got tongue tied. Um, and, um, you know, I'm doing film inspiration. I do my investing and, um, more so those are like you know my main four but you know at the top of that list is you know just remember to live a human life with my my wife and so the reason why i narrowed those five down and this actually goes back to the the vid a few videos back you know um keeping keeping your your goals um simplified is because when I stay, at least for myself, in my personal case, I stay in that structure of those five things, like, okay, these are the things that I need to focus on in my life, then I'm more efficiently able to be effective in those areas. Now, as far as for, you know, um, being a husband and, you know, live, just living life with my wife, like that's, that's self-explanatory. That's like an automatic pilot. Um, with regards to going to work, got to go to work and so you know thankfully I got a job I love adore and I, I appreciate a lot so you know I that's part of my everyday routine also so within the spaces I force myself to step into this routine of waking up at the butt crack of dawn of editing in the morning of then also uh, coming home at night and filming uh, film inspiration videos and if it if if it's not a filming night then it's an uploading night and then of course all of the uh, uh, associated um, spreading of that message on the internet and so that's my routine and some people will hear the word routine and see it as a bad thing they'll be like oh okay like you know 
how boring or what a prison of a routine it could be. What's funny is that that structure that might other people might feel imprisons them, that structure is actually the thing that frees me because it gives me basically a roadmap or a guide of the things that I need to do um, week by week and also very much honestly day by day. And if you really want to get specific about it, hour by hour. Like, you know, in the morning I wake up, I edit, and then I get ready, I go to work, I come home, and then I'm doing film inspiration videos, and if not, you know, filming them, then uploading them, etc. And that's, that's my routine. The roadmap and the routine behind the roadmap, um, and I encourage you to see what your routine could be or what your routine should be or needs to be or what it could look like in your case. I can't tell you exactly what it should, you know, I, I can handle my life and I can take a look at my life. You need to take a look at your life to see, do you need a routine? What could that look like? The routine for me is very freeing because it allows me to go according to that roadmap that I need to abide by in my own personal life, that I choose to abide by in my own personal life to get things done, to be effective. Not because I want every single day to be exactly the same thing, but because I wanna be effective, effective in making sure I get videos out to you um, and respond to your comments. Please also, any questions, comments, or whatever, leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Not because I am a masochist and I like to get up you know, or I'm, I'm a, a morning person by nature and I like to get up at like 4 or 5 a.m. to edit my movie, like, I trust me. I, I like doing it, but not because I do it naturally, but I, I force myself to do it. And so again, that's part of the routine. I am effective at these things and if a day ever goes by where, you know, and, and days will go by when, you know, maybe I didn't edit or maybe I didn't finish an entire scene or all I would have liked to on any given morning but for the most part you know by the time I go to bed at night so li like literally my my day starts at 4 or 5 a.m. and it's done by about 10 p.m. sleep for about six hours start all over again at 4 a.m. the very next day the the reason why the routine comes into play is because I aim to be effective in the the five core areas that I just named to you. That is why a lot of my message is gonna sound the same. That's why a lot of the videos are gonna sound the same. That's why the background here with, you know, this little puppet, uh, Tito el Titere, Tito the puppet, um, when I said do a Spanish language um, series of videos, like, I don't know, five years ago, I was just some, experimenting with it. And, you know, everything else, my computers and whatnot, that's why this is always the same, because it's part of that routine. It's part of that structure that I keep myself in. Because I realize, uh, personally, I'm a person that flourishes, that is very effective when I have my routine. Now, I know other people are actually all the opposite. Other people need chaos in their life. Other people need that disorder to constantly, uh, from that disorder, bring order out of. And if that's the way that they want to do it, if you're one of those people and that works for you, kudos to you. Um, I need to have my routine and that's why a lot of my messaging, a lot of my uh, themes in these videos even sound the same, except they sound this, they're always the same except with different topics, with different keynotes, with different delivery, with in different videos basically. But the power of routine can be a tremendous one in your life if you want to have a routine and if you feel you should have a routine if you wonder if you should have a routine if you've never even tried to um, consciously have a routine in your life and you wonder okay well you know could this be a good thing in my life could could it help me be effective I really recommend you guys trying that because you know give yourself a trial run you know try it out for try it out for you know start small like maybe you know one or two or three days try it out for a week try it out for maybe a month and there's going to be things that you like things that you don't like things that work for you things that work for you specifically and things that don't work for you but that might work for somebody else there's no right there's no wrong in having a routine but i do advocate for having a routine whatever that routine may be if you're serious about just getting getting stuff done 
being effective at getting stuff done, whatever your things may be. And back to um, you know that previous video of keeping your list of things that you're you're focusing on in your life. Um, I think that was back in like early February. I I say I still stick to that. I still abide by that. One of the biggest messages is keep it simple. Focus on two, three, four, in my case, five things that I want to focus on and aim to be effective in those things. Again, in my case, um, first and foremost, my wife, um, spending time being present, being you know a good husband. Uh, secondly, of course, uh, there's the making of my feature film, banging that out every morning. Third, going to work, uh, film inspiration videos, and what was that fifth one? Oh, my investing. Um, it's all part of my routine and those are the five things that I simplified my life down to to keep like not like it's actually that simple but you know what those are the five things that I choose to focus on a routine in your life can be a very good thing or I could be wrong and maybe you're like you know what screw you Edgar like I've tried that before it's not my thing it's not for me if it's not you know you know what works for you you know what doesn't work for you and if you don't know or if you don't know well, I just repeated that twice. If you do know or if you don't know is probably what I meant to say. Um, if you don't actively know, you should try to discover that part of you. Like, you know, would a routine be good for you in your life? Um, I've heard of other, you know, people, uh, some of my mentors online, like they have routines like, like taking, like jumping into a cold shower because you're forcing, your brain to throw the fear out and you're taking control of your brain and they jump into that cold shower and it's that whole mindset thing that's part of their thing other other mentors of mine you know abide by the whole minimalism thing that's part of their routine um you know and then other mentors of mine also like they like the chaos i can't do that but if it works for them great you need to figure out what works for you if you're interested in having a routine but when you can have a routine, when you can stick to it, when you can commit to it, even when you're tired, um, like, like right now, I'm a little tired and I was gonna lie down, my wife's like, uh-uh, go do your video first, and then afterwards you can chill out and relax because she knows that I'm not, that I need to have, I need to get past that part of my routine today before I can relax because then I'm just gonna fall asleep and then I'm, I'm gonna be all pissed off tomorrow morning if I hadn't recorded this video. Um, that's that's part of my routine and you're gonna see what works for you and and what doesn't there's no right and there's no wrong it's about figuring if you need a routine can you benefit from a routine only you guys can answer these questions for yourselves I'm not telling you what to do I'm not telling you how to do it how it needs to be done what's right what's wrong there is no right there is no wrong it's about if you believe you need a routine what what is that for you what is that routine for you? Let me know in the comments below everyone. And, um, oh, here's where I was going. A routine is very much like making um, a new year's resolution. You know, everyone, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna, you know, pump iron and lose weight or I'm gonna, you know, what, whatever that thing is. They always come around during the new years. I think that's baloney because guess what? Let's say, let's say I don't wake up on time tomorrow morning you know tomorrow's thursday so guess what i got friday i got saturday i got sunday if i really want to make up um some time on those two days uh to get back on the horse every single day is a new opportunity to restart that routine but it's very much like the new year's resolution in that here's the question are you going to stick to it are you going to set out that structure for you in your life and stick to it to be effective you know, I'm if I'm I'm saying well, I'm gonna make a movie and I'm I'm editing my film. Okay, I have had a tremendous, tremendous amount of work in front of me. It's a whole lot lighter now, but because I have stuck to that routine of you know what? Okay, I need a I need to edit scene number one, <laughs> then scene number two, then you know like I'm really far down the line getting there too not fully done but the thing is that it was because of that routine and back to the whole new year's resolutions things are you going to stick to it that's a very personal choice i'm not here to judge you i'm not here to promote you judging anybody else don't judge yourself 
You know, if you fall off, if you fall off the wagon, so to speak, with regards to a routine, if you're trying to build one, if you're trying to discover what that routine should be, and you, let's say you screw up, big deal. Just try again. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, and if anybody's gonna judge you for it, and guess what? They're probably full of shit themselves. They're probably an asshole, and you probably shouldn't be, you know, cons like friends with them. You probably shouldn't be listening to a person like that. You don't need a person like that in your life. So don't judge. Don't worry about anybody else's judgment. Don't judge yourself. Um, if, if you're trying to do the routine, do it. And if you fall off the wagon, get back on. Get back on the horse, so to speak. Um, you know, that's why, that's why, uh, you know, I get my mug on here, you guys, because like, you know, first film inspiration was about, you know, well, I'm going to talk about, you know, this filmmaking knowledge. And then I'm like, well, no, I'm not quite Steven Spielberg yet. Maybe if I was Spielberg with regards to television, camera work, editing, um, a few other areas, things like that related. And also the filmmaking that I have done. Yeah, I can talk a lot to those things but the thing is that like that's what film inspiration used to be and then it took on another incarnation where i was like interviewing people and but i needed to be way more productive i needed to be way more you know um um demanding uh, of myself and I don't want to put those type of demands or that type of pressure on people so I made part of my routine or part of my resolution was to make you know making film inspiration you know for for all of you who do watch I really do appreciate it um, if, honestly from the bottom of my heart you know and and for all you new subscribers same thing welcome aboard but that's part of my routine and I found out th that it's actually a very healthy part of my routine and my structure because I'm I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to build a community, you know, through what I can bring through the tape to the table, through, you know, things that I've lived through, things through that I've that I've been with. These are not how-to videos. This is just what I can bring to the table. And so in that routine of bringing these things to the table, um, I'm, I'm trying to build, you know, a community where I'm able to, where I'm creating the platform uh, every other night, after every other night, after every other night, trying to get three videos out a week to where I bring you guys value. Um, you know, something that I've got to share, you know, take it or leave it. Or, you know, if you think it sucks, uh, give me a thumbs down. If you love it, leave a comment, maybe thumbs up, maybe a little heart, you know, but that's part of the routine. That is part of my routine and not because I like to watch my, trust me, <laughs> trust me, it's not because I like to watch myself on camera because, man, you should have seen some of my first videos. Um, horrible, horrible to watch. Um, but because I need to do this as part of my routine to stay true to all of the, uh, all of the things that I preach, I don't like to talk stuff that I have not done or I'm currently or not doing like everything that I'm bringing here is part of my routine and I'm bringing it to the forefront so anyway you guys routine it's up to you whether or not you want to do it whether or not you need one that's up to you and there's no right there's no wrong you just have to test try experiment see what works for you if you even want to do a routine but that's why a lot of my stuff and a lot of you know what I bring to the table will sound similar and various incarnations but still though nonetheless always here always happy to provide it uh, and to you and to place it on the table uh, for you to take if you'd like and ultimately in the end because you know as I'm doing my thing day by day in my process um, I want you to do your thing and and know that um, you can do your thing you don't need anyone's blessing or anyone's permission Everyone, so I uh, love you guys. Talk to you guys later. If you're, if you're new here, I totally forgot this part on the front of the video. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you for those of you who have from the bottom of my heart. Uh, and also all of the social media right below in the box uh, that I should be calling the description. Oh Lord. Um, everyone out there. Oh my God. My brain is starting to like, the matrix is starting to glitch, but it's only in my brain for some reason. Everyone, if you have a higher power, consult your higher power. 
And uh, if not, run out there, do your thing, tell your stories. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. Don't let anyone control you. Um, don't ask for anyone's blessing or anyone's permission. Run out there, do your thing, tell your stories. And let me know what your routine is in the comments below. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys later. Adios. Thank you.